As we all know that autonomous decision-making AI is no longer a lab rat. Agents can call tools, move money, and change systems on their own. That power also opens the door to agent hacking, jailbreaking, and policy drift at machine speed. Companies like TechTrade recognize this risk, and today we are looking at the first major governance update designed for this reality. TechTrade has helped expand the Finos AI governance framework to cover agentic AI with concrete enforceable safeguards. And to discuss this, we have with us today Paul Marison, Head of Information Security and AI Governance Lead at TechTrade. Paul, we have been using AI machine learning for decades. What makes agentic AI systems different from traditional AI and why was this expansion urgently needed now? AI agents are different because architecturally they have a few different capabilities than say more traditional say chatbot systems. Uh, they have things like memory, uh, the ability to record things across sessions and come up with long to-do lists, but also more importantly they have access to tools. So the big difference between an AI agent and a more traditional AI system is that it's capable of affecting change whether it's in another system or by relating and talking to another agent, it can make a change in the world. And when you're thinking about chatbots where they're just doing information retrieval, that's very different. And so that new capability of, of affecting change is really what drove us to think quite hard about the security of these things. I would also like to take this opportunity to kind of educate our audience about the Finos AI governance framework and what additions you're making to it. Sure. So yeah, Tetrate got involved with the Finos AI governance framework right at the start of the year, actually, before it went to version 1.0. That version of the framework was really designed for a RAG system, so retrieval augmented generation, a chatbot that's capable of answering questions and querying knowledge sources and giving you an answer. Because it was designed for that kind of architecture and it did that very well, it meant that it was lacking kind of mitigations and risks around these new capabilities that agentic systems have. Now let's get a specific on TechTrade's role here. How does the new reference architecture and the six additional mitigations offer practical protection for enterprises on day one? So we started out this piece of work through thinking about a reference architecture. TechTrade speak to many different companies in many different industries, but particularly in the financial services industry. And the way we started this was by thinking about what a reference architecture for agentic AI would look like, and therefore what the risks are that come with that. And that's where we shook out these six new risks that we've added to the Finos AI governance framework around the things that are new about agents. So we talked before about tools and the ability to affect change being new. So it's obviously the risk there that a bad actor could make the agent do something that you didn't want it to. We talked about memory. There's a risk that a bad act could pollute the memory, and then it's like having a backdoor on a computer system but in an agent. So once we had thought about that, we then turned our minds to, well, what could we do about these? And we wrote some very detailed action-oriented controls that can help firms think about what they can do about these risks, no matter where they are on their kind of maturity and AI adoption journey. How are you helping organizations actually enforce these safeguards in, in, in running systems across data, access, tool use, identity, and network control? Tetra has developed a technology called Agent Operations Director that really makes this governance easily, easily actionable for enterprise customers. It provides not only visibility into what your AI systems and especially agents are doing, but also things like anomaly detection, behavioral validation, uh, help control for things like prompt manipulation or unauthorized actions. And really, we developed it to make it so easy to adopt these things that enterprises can achieve governance without slowing down the speed of their innovation. A big theme here is operational, not just policy. How are you helping organizations? actually enforce these safeguards in running systems across data access, tool use, identity, and network controls. So by providing a, a blueprint, like a reference set of risks and mitigations, Tetra and Finos are providing the kind of 
information and guardrails that regulated industry really need in order to be able to move quickly. They don't have to develop the expertise in the EU AI Act or on the NIST framework to do with AI governance because we and other people in the financial services industry have already done that and produced a, a industry-specific reference architecture and blueprint that these companies can pick up and adopt and be confident that they're picking up best practice that's been achieved through cross-industry governance and collaboration. Organizations want to move fast. Many teams want to move fast with AI, but they are nervous about safety and compliance. How does this FINOS structured collaboration let regulated industries accelerate while it's still meeting their obligations? So by providing a, a blueprint, like a reference set of risks and mitigations, Tetra and FINOS are providing the kind of information and guardrails that regulated industry really need in order to be able to move quickly. They don't have to develop the expertise in the EU AI Act or on the NIST framework to do with AI governance because we and other people in the financial services industry have already done that and produced a, a industry-specific reference architecture and blueprint that these companies can pick up and adopt and be confident that they're picking up best practice that's been achieved through cross-industry governance and collaboration. It can go beyond financial industries, beyond financial services. How should any organizations deploying autonomous or agentic AI at scale think about adopting this expanded framework? I think it's something that we've seen time and again with cloud, where the most demanding regulated industries were really the ones that were setting the agenda for the compliance and, and regulated activities that they were expecting cloud providers to do. And over time, we saw in general enterprises pick up the same kind of certifications that to start with were just the domain of the financial services industry. So really, this AI governance framework is applicable to a wide range of enterprises who care about governance, who care about trust, uh, who care about making sure that AI works for them and doesn't end up working against them. With the growing adoption of agentic AI, there's a growing risk of agent hacking as well. Can you talk about what real world failure modes you are seeing? It could be prompt engineering, it could be tool abuse, it could be literal movement, and which controls are there in the framework which are most effective at shutting those things down? You're right that when people find a use for a technology, there are always people that find a bad use for a technology. And AI agents are particularly susceptible to that because there's not necessarily a human in the loop to help you ensure that only good decisions are being made. With the FINOS AI governance framework, one of the really good things about it is we thought very hard about these different attack patterns. You know, we worked with industry experts who um, are cybersecurity experts, deep cybersecurity experts, and were able to really assist us with a very detailed threat modeling of the kind of AI specific threats that you can encounter when running these systems in production. So we built elements of the framework such as tool manipulation, which is a, a risk which talks about bad actors tricking AI agents into using tools in an order that you didn't want. So for instance, say read a calendar and then email the contents of the calendar to them. That would be a very bad set of actions. So you need to think about how we're going to put guardrails around those. So by thinking about all this and doing all of this threat modeling, Finos and Tetra are providing a detailed blueprint and reference architecture that people can look at and immediately see the kind of risks that they're running by using these systems that bad actors are going to try and exploit and see what controls they can put in place to help mitigate these without having to reinvent the wheel themselves. If a CISO or AI platform owner asked you, what is the 30, 60, 90 day plan to get started? What pilots, what controls, what metrics should I put in place to prove value now and then build towards a full adoption? So yeah, if I was giving a, an elevator pitch to a, a CISO on where to start with AI governance, I would say really the first thing that you have to take from the framework is the concept of really knowing what it is that you have. Where most businesses start with AI is that people in their company just start using it. They have ChatGPT, They'll provide company documents to it just to help them do their work quicker and more effectively. 
So the first thing is to find out what you have and then get your arms around that and start controlling it. Once you have an idea then of the kind of software and technologies that people in your business want to use, that's when you can start to move on to more advanced controls such as hallucination detection, detecting inaccurate outputs, maybe getting controls around the use of agents and their use of tools. Um, it really can grow with your business. That's the nice thing about the framework. It, it will really meet you anywhere, no matter where you are. Paul, thank you so much for sharing those insights. It's quite clear that agenting AI changes the thread model so much that governance must be enforced in production, not just a PDF for folks to read. Thank you for your insights, and I look forward to chat with you again. Thank you. And back to our audience, if you are grappling with how to keep autonomous systems safe while shipping fast, check out Tetrate's contributions to the Finos AI governance framework. And for more conversations like this, subscribe to TFR, like this video, and share it with your teams. Thanks for watching.